technique is as follows. Ready? Your mind is a very great thing. It is brilliant. It took metals and sand and taught the sand to think in silicon and took metals and made a rocket ship, got inside and flew to the moon. <sighs> oh my God. You are brilliant. <laughs> you have a brilliant mind. Okay? That's not the problem. The problem is what you're doing with it. When you go to that brilliant mind and you say, I'm not okay because I store all this junk inside of me, figure out how everybody else needs to be so I can be okay. That is a total misuse of mind. Stop it. That's what you do. <laughs> that's, what you, that's your technique. Stop doing that. Don't use your mind for that. That's the personal mind. Don't, don't use your mind for that. Use your mind for great things. Don't use your mind for sick things. But, but then what do I do about the fact that I'm not okay? Fix it. Don't make everybody else be different so you can be okay. Don't have all these rules of how everything needs to be so you feel better. Find out why you're not okay. How's that? Buddhists say work at the root. That's the root, right? Well, why am I not okay? I told you, you just weren't listening. You're not okay because you shoved all this stuff inside of you of every single experience you ever had in your life that bothered you, that you weren't comfortable with. There are going to be things that are not comfortable. You see a rattlesnake all coiled up, rattling. Oh, that's not comfortable. I promise you I've seen him. <laughs> all right? It's, it's, that's supposed to scare you. You understand? That's why he's doing it. It's not wrong. It's not bad. It didn't ruin your life. It's a heck of an experience, in fact. Does that mean I should go pick it up? No, you respect the experience you're having, and then you let it pass. You're a greater being because you had that experience. Every experience you have makes you a greater being. Because you had the experience. I don't know how to explain that to you. Why do you practice tennis? Why, why do you, when you practice tennis, do you just have the ball, you know, the ball server, the automatic server? Do you just have it come exactly where your strength is every single time so you can get better at where you're strong? No, you hit it all over the place. Why? Because every single angle you get better because you use those muscles and because you came in tune, right or wrong. Practice makes perfect. Well, if practice makes perfect in sports, why does practice not make perfect in life? Experience is your best teacher. Therefore, every single experience you have, you have it and it passes through you. Don't hold on to the rattlesnake so that you miss the next experiences. Honor and respect the experiences you had. Everyone, the divorce, the this, the children, the child, traumas. I don't care. I'm serious. Stop it. You're not a victim. You're somebody who received the gift of experience. How's that? The fact that it wasn't comfortable, well, the rattlesnake wasn't comfortable. Fine. That's part of the experience. Let it go. I'm glad I had that experience. Now I know better about rattlesnakes. I met one. <laughs> okay? Um, I, I know how to deal with it. Well, okay, fine. You met divorce. Your parents got divorced. Wonderful. You win. The person whose parents didn't get divorced, they lost. They didn't get to have that experience. That's how you have to look at it. Every single experience you have is its weight in gold. It's a gift from God. And it's your gift because nobody else had your experience. So you process these. Let them go. That's your spiritual path. If meditation helps, meditate. If mantra helps, do mantra. But the purpose is not meditation or mantra or any of the techniques. The purpose is, are you willing to stop storing inside of you the things that were difficult when you had the experience? Because otherwise you store difficulty inside of you. It's going to be there all the time. You understand that? If you have a bad smell, don't collect them and take them home so you put them in a room and remember how bad it was and how much you didn't like it. Just let it pass. Open the windows or don't. I don't know what to do when I get a skunk. I always forget. But just let it go and it'll be over. It'll pass. Don't never drive down that road again. Don't. You hear me? Let your experiences pass and they will have fed you. You'll become a wholer person because you had them. You don't need to hold them in your mind. That is spirituality. And now I showed you why spirituality and life are the same thing, aren't they? That's the highest way to live your life. That's the highest way to become spiritual. So find a way to work with yourself inside instead of trying to use your mind to avoid yourself. Don't let your mind say how you want things to be or not. It's so foreign to people. No, I want things to be the way they are. And what I want is to be able to honor and respect the reality of the moment in front of me. That's the last want that gets left. That's your work. And you work on that one, it's over, isn't it? So little by little, Work with the things that are unfolding in front of you. Don't store them. Honor them. Respect them. Let them pass. And because you're not putting more stuff down there, the old stuff will come up by itself. I promise you. Don't worry. It will. You'll come complain. The old stuff will start coming up. Let it go. Let it go. You do not want any of it in you. Let it go. If it needs to come up, let it welcome it. Sing. Hey. Come on up. You're welcome here. Kiss it. Throw a party. Really. 
I'm telling you, the worst stuff you have in there, welcome it up. Just relax and release as it comes up. And it'll go. It'll pass. Not all at once, but it'll pass. And wait do you see. I'm telling you, your, your energy will become free inside. You'll wake up in the morning with ecstasy pouring through your being, not worries about what happened. And then all through the day, it feeds you. It rises up inside of you, feeding you all the time. That's what your life's supposed to be like. All right. Work on these things. Jagger